All right, we've got our tea packed. We've got our binoculars. Uh, oh, what a tummy. <laughs> And we've got our uh, we've got our handheld phone only. I packed all the camera gear, but I forgot to download the app, and the app doesn't work that controls the camera. So we're going to be going handheld today mm -hmm. on the Crack Trail, which is probably backwards for you guys. The Crack Trail in Killarney, first time ever. Supposed to be a really awesome trail. Supposed to be a really hard trail, supposedly. So we'll see. The pork belly. Yeah, like Are you, you wrap that in a circle and you cook them. So this is B-roll of the Killarney Crack Trail sign where we metaphorize my t stomach with a pork belly. Perfect. <laughs> Away we go. <laughs> my poor tummy. So we've come about two kilometers and we're just starting to climb gently now. And the sun is peeking out and filtering through the woods making for a beautiful view and an opportunity for me to catch my breath a bit. Me and Jen to catch our breath. Oh, there she is. Away we go. So probably you can't see. This is like not super steep, but we're definitely climbing. Oh yeah, and it goes over this way. Starting to do S turns and stuff. So we just started this, so we're not overly winded, but I'll check back in later and you can hear me Huff and puff. We're sweating. So we're about to go up uh, another little rock passage, but it's just really pretty the way the light's filtering through here. We're really excited to have some tea and our sandwiches. Oh my God, I'm super excited about our sandwiches. <laughs> Cajun chicken with aioli and cheese. Cheese grommet. Here we go, I gotta put you away. So we've reached this spot where there's at least some climbing. We're doing some bird watching too, so we've popped the binoculars in the pack to avoid um, smashing those against the rock. And it's been a perfect day for this kind of hike. It hasn't been too hard. You can see I'm not huffing and puffing like I promised, so sorry about that. Maybe later though, it's definitely picking up here. I would have gone on the rock. Looks more fun. Oh, it's slippery though. I'm just insisting on doing a video while I climb it. I see another cairn. So I think that's the right way. How come you're with us? I don't see any signs so. though. But. There's a cairn. Oh. Not a Karen. Oh, a cairn. We had to clarify that Car earlier. C-A-I-R-N, I think. I Hopefully I'm right. Just... Now I've recorded myself. Oh, Spelling. Okay. Alright, we're gonna keep going. Alright, so it looks like that last little bit I videoed was actually the arrival. It's a bunch of people chilling over there. The sun had peaked out. Tons of people were descending as we came up. And that last little bit was a bit of a challenge, but uh, for the amount of challenging hype they give this trail, what would you say? Uh, I would rate it difficult. And Moderate, huh? The, yeah, most of it is not. And if you go the trail trail way, it's a pretty gentle. Yeah. I read that you have to use your hand and stuff, but at least it wasn't for me. If that way, it looks... Yeah. yeah. If you're an experienced hiker, I would give it a, at best a moderate. My assessment is the Luskville Falls Trail is a good measure harder oh boy, yeah. physically uh, on the lungs and the legs because it's very straight up the whole time. This was pretty gentle the whole time. Yeah. Uh, but the views are much nicer here. Luskville's oh, yeah. a little bit of a, it's a training trail, okay? You do it for the benefit. It's, it, the views well, are. This is pretty. So this far, is gorgeous. I see zero bird. And as I said in the last clip, Sammy time. <laughs> let's, get, let's get a spot and get a sandwich going. Oh, look up there. It's even higher up there. You oh, want to make yeah. it challenging and go there? No. You want to make it over this? Let's do that. Don't slide down. Don't slide down. So that's going to be our sandwich spot. I hear a raven in the distance. Only birds we heard on the way up were... Uh, is he airborne? Oh yeah, there he is. He's way up there. Hard to see. 
Soaring. Yeah. Pretty loud. He's pretty far. So we're grabbing our seat pads. We're going to have our sandwiches and our tea and enjoy the view up here a bit. Oh, yeah. I was going to say we, uh, we were hoping to see some birds, but we only heard blue jays a lot. Chickadees and, of course, ravens, stuff like that. We didn't. Oh, woodpeckers. We heard woodpeckers. Don't know which kind, though. Like some sort of a brown ground forager. We'll throw a picture of that one up. Maybe you guys can help us identify it. I think we saw the same. Well, I think it was the same one in the. Oh, we don't have a picture of it. We'll put an image of what we saw in the parking lot up that we can get from the internet. We know what it looked like. We got a good look at the guy in the parking lot. Let us know what it is. Here is a bill. Having some Bayachilan. I had to get myself on some camera time. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to let you know the tea we're having is Bayachilan. My favorite. I. Uh, I just asked what it was because I wasn't sure we hadn't had it yet. So I'm super stoked about this. The wind has picked up, so hopefully you can hear me. And um, yeah, tea time with sandwiches. Wait, I'll show the sandwich, the delicious sandwich. The squish the sandwich. Mm. We'll buy it on the <laughs> Do you understand? No, you don't. <laughs> These are the risks of tea in the wild. You think I'm not going to drink this? You'd be wrong. Recent development. We were about to head down, but we were just looking around to see if we could find any, spot any hawks or whatever. And uh, I looked up the hill and there was people way above where we were. Turns out we weren't at the top. We were just at a nice resting point with a good view. So we're going to, now that our tummies are full of tea and sandwiches, oh, I wouldn't forget the sandwich, don't worry. Now our tummies are full of tea and sandwich. Time to go to the top. Oh boy. So far, so good. Down here? Yeah, it looks fine. Let's do it. Have a nice walk. All right, so we're heading in to uh, the beginning of the crack. It's a little wet in here. It's quite sheltered. And... Uh, one of the gentlemen said, we'll know when we get there. So maybe this isn't the crack, but I feel like I'm in a crack. But no, I see what he means. We're heading towards the spot where we're going to be between, I think we're going to be between two big stones, which is really what I was expecting. So this trail turns out to not be as disappointing as I thought. And here we're going to definitely put away the oh, binoculars. This, really this we have to scramble up and we're going to be headed up there. Yay! Stay tuned. Pretty close then? Oh yeah, yeah, you scramble through here and then it's soap and rock and then really nice sunny spot. Nice. Sounds rewarding. Headed into Sakrak. Heavy landing. Here's the view from inside the crack. And here comes Didi carefully. I took that last big step a little bit heavy. No, I mean, I'm fine. I just slammed my feet down like, there you go. I'm the safety first person. Yeah, I'm the head first person. Oh, here's the scramble he's talking about. So we have two choices, sort of the right side or the left side. I'm gonna go with the right and turn this off. So we were down at the bottom of this a moment ago. Here's the top of the crack. And there's Jen at the top of the crack. Be careful. And the view over this way, which is obscured by these pines from here, but we showed it earlier. Is stunning, this spectacular view. So I take it back. This trail is not disappointing in terms of view. Still pretty, uh, pretty doable. It's a little. There is a little scrambling. Uh, by the the last time we reported, we didn't understand the scrambling at all. But now we get it. It's not going to be optional to use your hands, but it's very brief. Um, and if you're 
if you're in a half decent shape, very doable. Not a long hike either to get here. Beautiful view though. Hmm. I probably shouldn't tell the joke about Phil McCracken. So here we are after the crack in the parking lot <laughs> having some tea. All right, it was a pretty, uh, I have to say, it was definitely a, would you agree, the uh, difficulty level was appropriate, uh, that last little bit. Yeah, that really helped make the whole trip, like the whole hike, really fun. Yeah, really fun. So we had stopped early and thought the hike was way overrated for how difficult they said. But then uh, when we did the end, you actually did need your hands. Yeah, I, would yeah, say. I liked that. Yeah, I liked it. It was really fun, but definitely a difficult trail. And the overall length after that exertion at the far point, so the exertion's at the most distant point, so then you've got to come back uh, the another four kilometers, three and a half kilometers maybe. So uh, definitely bring some tea. You will yes. want some tea when you're yeah, done. Yeah, you need a lot of water. <laughs>